basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron in the Twitters, in the Twitters, on the Twitters, all over the Twitters, I guess, uh, with me. And still in the studio. Yes, he's been hanging out here for two days. It's Matt Carlins. Feels like it's been days, Sorg. <laughs> I'm still fresh as a daisy, though. Yeah, it's he's weird. still on the high off of that, that interview the other night, so. <laughs> I, got the, I got that Krista Joseph fever inside me. He's just been sitting down here watching Lucha Underground Season 1 on the YouTube and, and just just... I don't even have an HD TV down here. Someone it's tell ridiculous. Them any day with that DVD there you box go. set. Come on, let's there you do go. it. Uh, but anyways, uh, no, we were just talking about things and talking about uh, how things are going with Sling Mayhem Show. As we mentioned in the last episode, Matt over here has been doing some some great articles for us. You know, give us kind of a text presence, I guess, for indie mayhem, indie wrestling. Jeez, indywrestling.us and wrestlingmayhemshow.com, which really helps kind of get us out there and 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 hopefully exposes the show and and stuff we're doing around here to more people there or or maybe the other show and then maybe they'll they'll buy a dvd or digital download uh and and you you had a good phrase to kind of talk about what we're doing and and you know and that it's it's working you're definitely getting attention here's here's the idea here's here's how i define my mission for you okay Mm -hmm. i like to write it's fun yeah um you're better at it than i am but my primary my, my goal in this endeavor is to get as many people as possible to get onto your websites. Right. I gotta get. I gotta get traffic. Mm. We gotta get some traffic. Sorg, dog, on it. We gotta get people <laughs> yeah. on WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We I gotta get like... them to IndieWrestling.us. Gotta get them to buy those discs. Dang it. Um, but the the point of it is. We, so so we are we are having success would you not say we're having i'd say success? we're doing, doing we very are well generating traffic so i mean it's not like for the like, websites it's but not it's not a flat traffic it's it spikes yeah it's it definitely spikes, spikes. Well, it's well, like you get up there you get somebody's attention we get on some websites we get on a reddit forum boom you know and and i don't think i think when and i, ha- I haven't looked at like the the views the listens anything like that since you've come on uh, like i don't know if we're seeing more there you oh, know yeah. But I, I am pretty certain they don't come back to the website. Hopefully they hit a subscribe button. Hopefully they hit play on the on, on the player on there or something. So I don't think that's the metric I need to look at for for this. Um, but no, we're, we're we're not even we're, we're not even at the metrics yet because the point here is that we're 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 we're, we're just casting a net, you know. Right. And we're just and, trying and to drag early. people. We're trying to build awareness. And we're early. The the focus for you. Is the the quality the product that's on especially on indie wrestling not us you know a quality product so that when you get those one or two people who find you who find your website and sample it they like what they see right one customer at a time right 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 every customer no matter how many customers you have or how many listeners you have or how many viewers you have everyone is valuable everyone is a a, a commodity to be defended and fought over so every single one of those viewers and every single one of those customers you got to serve to the best of your ability um and whenever we're just dragging these people onto the website we're hoping we get maybe one or two and then as time goes on maybe a few more and next thing you know boom overnight success (laughs) overnight success but it doesn't happen without it doesn't happen without the quality that's there so from, from my end when i'm writing i'm like we're writing for quality not even if it necessarily means that we get huge page hits, because I told you that I, I'm not going to be, you know, uh, not, that I am deliberately trying to avoid just being straight opinion. You know, I don't want to be part of the echo chamber. I'm trying to create something original, right. something unique. And not being and so click, it, that's not, high quality. And not being clickbait, too. Right. And not necessarily clickbait, although, you know, I'm trying to get clicks. So, in essence, I am. I am clickbait, but you're not. But, but you're I'm not, not tricking people I'm like not some of these are. People. No, yeah. I'm trying to create. Well, yeah, and that's another thing too. You when when you put it out there and you're like, you know, you're not overselling it. Come check me out. Just try it one time, and if you like what you see, look, I'm treating you, the customer, the 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 reader, the listener, with respect. Come see the product I've created. Do you see? See, it's good. Now come. Now stay on this website. Go buy a disc. You know, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, that's the, the, idea. The, the, the antis, you know, the other things are around there. You know, you go to your article, and there's the 
subscribe to our thing, watch our thing, go check out our friends, uh, go get some pizza, you know, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. I mean, it's, it's how yeah. banner ads basically work, but we're just kind of trying to move you from here to, hey, check out the show that you can subscribe to and listen to and hopefully become a part of the community or tell people about, right? And, and I think that's that applies to if you're just doing a blog, a personal blog, you're doing it, you're creating um on a regular basis you know i mean we've obviously been doing this on a very regular basis and and we get you know we get a good audience out of it you know you know it's it's tougher than ever it feels like it always feels like the market is flooded doesn't it it feels like the podcast world is just flooded with people with podcasts it feels like especially Mm -hmm. when you're writing articles about wrestling it feels worse than ever I mean, it, it, every website, nowhere Forbes is writing about wrestling now. Oh, so geez. it's getting ridiculous. Well, at least you don't have to worry about Grantland anymore. That's true. Got rid of those guys. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> good wins. <laughs> no, that's funny no. too because whenever I was starting, I was like, "Sorg, this is what we're gonna we're gonna make. We're gonna write wrestling content for WrestlingMayhemShow dot com that is like Grantland quality, dead spin quality, and and, and does it get there? Oh, not every not time. Yeah, I can be I mean, honest. We're trying, they're, but that's what we're shooting for. You right. know, and they're hiring like writers, like like been writing for a bit. Like yeah. they're writing great people that have a resume of this level of writing. You know, and, and not to put down your right, but I mean, you're you're not. <laughs> no, no, I got you. I got you. But that's not your primary focus. Is that level of writing? Right, but that's it, my but it's my goal. I mean, it's, right, right, exactly. I'm exactly. trying to I'm trying to get there. Um, well, it's just like even for like I do this, you know. I know I don't have the resume to be. You know, we just talked with somebody who does TV. You know, granted, he's, he's scripting. You know, is that side? It's a writing gig as well, right? It's a production side, you know. But I know. All I have is my experience that I can bring to the table and be able to present it. Like we were talking about, like, put your best foot forward on, on the last show here. Who could be watching? You know, it's, you know, putting that quality out and, and getting those getting those people. And, and yeah, it's, it's just it's, it's attention to detail. It's trying your best. Mm-hmm. It's treating every listener, every customer, every reader like they're the most important thing on the face of the earth because they are. And um, it's just trying to build a build a build. Until so what, what's the takeaway here? So what's the so so keep at it, <laughs> keep Look, doing your thing, and keep getting better. Keep striving yeah. to get better, and and yeah, don't do your best. That that's all. That's all I can ever say. I mean, that's what I take to my to my real job, and that's what I bring. Try to bring to you. I just try to bring my best. That's all. It's awesome. We got a good crew. We got a good crew. All striving to have fun, share the fun of pro wrestling. And uh, build something around it. I think that's really awesome um, on, on several fronts as far as the stuff that we're doing here. So awesome. Matt Carlins, he's mainstream Matt on the Twitter, uh, is his wrestling side of things, right? Can I sleep now? Yeah, I think you can sleep now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I have some work to do. I don't have an editing team. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a one, not a one man operation, but it's a, I, I do a lot of the operating. So. Uh, go check out everything sorgatron.com. Uh, sign up for the newsletter and check out the blog there as well. And, and I, I write once a week. That is my dedication, my dedication to writing to make sure I'm doing that. So Writing is important, kids. The main dedication is I'm here on the camera with you spreading my words this way. Right. Uh, thank you, everybody, and we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.